Welcome to more Banjo Tooie! So, last time we finished off Glitter Gulch Mine, or at least as much as we could have for that stage. So, let's head back, do some other stuff. Uh, at the end of the last episode, I said that I'd be showing off some pretty interesting collectibles today. And that is indeed true. And there's going to be more than just some cool collectibles. There's going to be a lot of kind of different stuff in this episode. I think this is going to be a fun one, so definitely stay tuned. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is go back into Mayhem Temple, and we're going to go to the prison compound. That's because now that we have the build drill from uh, Glitter Gulch Mine, we can actually do this jiggy here. So we have to save Dilberta the rodent right here. Oh no, me, Dilberta, was out looking for gold when that boulder fell down and trapped me in here. Not exactly sure where the boulder fell from, considering we're kind of inside a building, but somehow that boulder fell down there and we gotta go break it for them. Wait, hold on, is there like even a hole in the ceiling at all? Nope, the boulder just came out of nowhere. <laughs> I have no idea how. Well, let's go ahead and break that. And that'll let Dilberta go right on through. Thanks very much for unblocking my passage. No problem. That's worth a jiggy. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get that from her. We have to go back and talk to Bill, so we'll go do that. Now, I want you guys to take note of this. She goes inside the hole. Now, we go in the hole, and on the other side, she is not here. We talked to Bill here, and uh, somehow... Okay, so we're back in Glitter Gold Mine, but somehow Dilberta goes in first, and then Dilberta is not here yet. I mean, she'll come through eventually, but <laughs> I don't know. It's... Oh, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm overthinking things, but I don't know how we all fit past her in that little hole there. And the hole seemed to take just like a couple seconds to get through. So, Kazooie's kind of joking about killing Dilberta, because, you know, Kazooie's got that dark humor. But Let's just go ahead, get Dilberta in here. Now that she's finally here, gosh dang. Give us some goodies. And she says, hi honey, I'm home. I guess there are a couple, I, I'm really not sure. I don't think I want to know any more about this. But, let's get that Jiggy! So that is one of the two missing Jiggies for this stage. We still cannot get the last one, and there's still one Ginger we can't get. But we'll get those eventually. For now, let's just get that. Let's go back in. There's also a Cheeto page and one more Jiggy to get in Mayhem Temple as well. Both in this area. And I could have got the Cheeto page before, but you'll see why I waited once we get up there. So all I'm going to do is flip up to the top here. And once we get all this stuff, we will be totally done with Mayhem Temple. This will be... The last, well, not the last time we go here because, oh my gosh. Well, forgot about that guy. It won't be the last time we come here because this stage does have the code room for the cheat codes. So we'll be coming back for that. But as far as collecting stuff, this will be it for this stage. So let's get all the way over here. Climb up top. Okay, let's just, I guess we'll go to a talent shot. Let's just go across here. Now, once we go down through this tunnel, at the very end, there is the Cheeto page. However, there is also the Jiggy, so that's why I waited, because we're coming here for the Jiggy anyways. Now, we could have done this without Bill Drill. I'll show you guys a exploit to do that without uh, the power-up. But here's how you're meant to do it. We go down here, break this boulder, and we have to drop down. Now, what we have to do once we're down here is the pillars are very wobbly, so if we attack them, it'll actually knock the, the Jiggy around. we got to find the one that has the Jiggy on it. That's not that one. Uh, watch out for these Moggies here. Die, monster! Uh, okay, well, I'm very bad at knowing which one has the Jiggy. Okay, it's gonna be the very last one I hit, isn't it? Fantastic. Well, that one, we got the jingle, so now that's gonna bounce the Jiggy right down to the next pillar. So we basically just have to go through all of the pillars, and... It's not that one. We'll go, we'll go this way. We'll go counterclockwise. But we go through all the pillars and knock it down. Now, if you notice, there's also a timer, so we have to do this within a certain time. I have no idea why there's a timer for this, but there is. So let's keep hitting things. And one more, we'll do it! Now, the exploit method to get this, well, possible, it is pretty difficult. Um, I practiced it a little bit, so maybe I'll be able to do it. But if you're playing this game for the first time, it'll probably be pretty difficult. And honestly, unless you're speedrunning, there's really not much of a reason to, to do that method other than the, uh, aside from... Not aside from, instead of this one. So here's what you do. You guys have already seen that you can do tricks using the ground pound to get a little bit of extra space. So that's basically what you do, is you go ground, uh, you go talent trot, you jump across, get as much height as you can, do that, and then there you go. So you have to do that basically like four times, and if you do it just right, then you'll get the jiggy at the very end. So, pretty challenging actually. You can see I just messed up right there, but if you do that four times in a row, you get the jiggy. So now we are finally done with this stage, let's head back out of Mayhem Temple. Which is not that way. Gosh dang it. 
I guess I should show the way to actually get out of this area as we swim down through this tunnel here, so that's all you gotta do. Alright, now that we are out of here, I'm gonna go back to the Jigawiki's Temple and unlock a couple more stages, because we can! Now, the next stage requires 14, and the one after that requires 20. I want you guys to take note, I do have 22 Jiggies, and I'll explain why I have more than I did last time in a little bit. But, even if you did not have the two extras that I have, you'd still be fine. Now, one thing I want to do is come back to here real quick and show these signs once again. The left right here, it says, Have you looked on the roof of the Red Jinjo House? So back in Jinjo Village, we'll do that in a little bit. Uh, right here, Witchy World is where fortune may smile upon you. Remember that quote. And also right here, this one is an egg container followed by jingling. Um, I'm not exactly sure what this means, but some people think that this relates to a cheat code coming up. So I'll explain a bit more about that uh, in just a minute. But let's go do those puzzle challenges. Or, actually, the first thing I want to show you is connected to that Witchy World quote from that center sign. When Fortune Smiles here will be written the Jiggy Secrets. So they were saying that Witchy World is where Fortune Smiles upon you, and when Fortune Smiles upon us, we can activate these signs. So, that'll happen in Witchy World. But let's go do the puzzles! We got two puzzles to do right here, since I have enough Jiggies for that. Not that I need to do this, but I'm kind of in the area anyways, so I might as well. Plus, I just wanted to show you guys those signs too, so... I figure, you know what, we're here. Let's just go ahead and do it. Uh, so with this, we'll have five stages unlocked, even though we have not even gone to the third stage yet. They're pretty lenient with how many Jiggies you actually need to get. But there we go. 80 seconds left on the clock, and we got the first one taken care of! Alright! The Great One will show you the way! Trillin. No! <laughs> Chi-Chi? Goku! Chi-Chi! Oh! Oh! Paula! Oh my god! Oh! I've just got to give it my all and show this guy you do not mess with me and my friends! I okay? Hooray, we opened up to Ye Lagoon. Or something like that. It's not exactly the stage name, but we're gonna rock that, I guess. And I guess next, let's go do the other one. Let's go do some more. Oh, come on. I, I know I'm the chosen one. I know I have enough jiggies. Just let me do it. Let me put together them puzzles. Come on. There we go. All right. So, yes, indeed, we did need 20. Let's go ahead and grab these pieces. Oh, pretty easy, though. Puzzles. I don't know, man. The puzzles from Banjo-Kazooie with the, the little secret with uh, bottles, those are actually pretty challenging. But this crud, I don't think it's ever going to get too hard. It's just... Pretty easy. And I guess it makes sense that these are easier than the ones from that game, considering that these are actually required to unlock stages, where the ones from Banjo-Kazooie were more just like a little bonus secret, so... I guess it's okay for those ones to be more difficult. But this, if it was too hard, it would just kind of restrict people from continuing the game, so... Probably would not be the best thing. But I think we've had enough Dragon Ball Z for one episode, so I'm not gonna do that again. Actually, this one I think I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. Whoa! So, with that blast, we open up them teeth! And that dinosaur head. Alright. Well, we only have, I think, three more stages to unlock, so we're not going to be seeing too much more of these cutscenes. Honestly, I probably won't be back here until after the fifth stage, so... If you guys are sick of seeing puzzles, no worries. We're not going to be returning for quite some time. That place is going to close off. We need 28 jiggies for that. Let's just move on. Now, something I want to show you guys is back in the Mayhem Temple code room. I was mentioning that one thing kind of involved, or was kind of related to a cheat code. I don't know why I just jumped in there. So I'm going to meet you guys back in the code room, and I'll explain some things. Okay, so we're back in this room, and I want to tell you guys about a special set of cheat codes. And to enter this set, you basically have to put in the word Cheeto first, and then the cheat code. There's actually a whole slew of codes you can get, and the one I mentioned, Nest King, apparently that is what that, uh sign refers to. There's a whole bunch of other ones that I'm going to tell you guys about, and I'm not sure if there's any reference to them in the game itself, or if it's just something you have to know about. But, there's something really important about these cheat codes. First off, they don't actually make sounds when you hit it, so you just have to know that you're doing the right thing. You can't uh, get any confirmation from the game itself. Uh, next is that the cheat codes kind of have a negative effect right here. The Nest King cheat will give you infinite eggs and feathers. That sounds wonderful, the problem is Banjo. If you use this cheat, saving will be stopped and your score will not be posted to the leaderboards. So, I actually do not want to activate that cheat. It's just something I wanted to show you guys. So, I won't be able to save my game if I do that. 
There's a few other cheats though. There's one called Honey King. And once again, for all these codes I'm about to list, you have to put in Cheeto before you do the code itself. So there's Honey King, which gives you infinite health. There's Super Banjo, which gives faster movement speed. There's Super Batty, which gives the enemies faster movement speed. There's Jiggy Wiggy Special, which opens all of the game worlds. And finally, actually no, there's two more. There's also Jiggy's Castless, which lets you see a cutscene that you normally get for getting all 90 Jiggies in the game. And finally, there's Play It Again, Son, which unlocks all the replays, mini games, and cinema stuff. So that's pretty much all the Cheeto cheat codes. There's still some other ones we have to get, but as far as the Cheeto stuff is concerned, there it is. So all those cheat codes will remove saving, so I'm not going to use any of them. Let's just move on. Okay, now, finally, for those interesting collectibles I was mentioning. These are going to be the Stop and Swap 2 items. And I want to mention that these are very different in the N64 version and the Xbox Live arcade version. So the main difference is that, first off, if you come to this area with... Uh, or in the N64 version, there will be a yellow Stop and Swap egg already in this nest. The problem is, in that version, Heggy does not actually hatch them for you. You have to do it with Kazooie. So in the fifth world of the game, you get an ability that lets you hatch eggs. So you have to come back after you get that. Now you also have to do something with this. Uh, this is pretty much irrelevant in this version of the game, but in the N64, you can build drill this, then you can use the split-up pads. You go to Kazooie, and then you go up and hatch the egg using the hatch ability that you get later on. Now there's also two more nests, which means there's two more eggs you can get in the N64 version. And I'll show you guys exactly where those are, because those collectibles are in this version of the game as well. They're just different things. So, the first thing we're going to do is head back to the Jinjo Village. So, back in the Jinjo Village, the first thing I want to do is go check out the roof of the Red Jinjo House, because, well, the guy, or the sign mentioned we should do that. So let's go do it. Because right up top here, if we can actually grab on now that we have the grip grab ability, is a treble clef. So that's 20 notes right there. And I also want to go check out the... Uh, Jingling's room here now that he's zombified and there is a particular reason for this so let's go inside This is kind of a minor spoiler, but it's something I need to mention because this is a missable Collectible pretty much so if we go into the zombified throne room, you can see that uh, King Jingling is indeed a zombie now the music that is playing only plays in this room and at some point in the game the music will no longer be available now, later on in the game is a jukebox, and basically the only way that you can actually get this music into the jukebox is if you come into this room before the music goes away. So, I just wanted to come do that real quick, so now that'll be activated for later on. Alright, once again we're back next to the silo, and I want to head down to this area. Once again, now that we have the grip grab ability, we can go do this. So you could have done this earlier on with the grip grab, but I wanted to wait till I could do all of these different items at once, and now's the time where I can do that. So, let's go up here. Go ahead and hit this, and just kill these snapdragons. Now, one thing I want to mention, and this is a very important thing about these particular collectibles. You can only do these once on the Xbox version. Not once per file, but just once. And the only way you can uh, fix that is if you actually go and delete your file completely off your Xbox hard drive. So that is why I had to restart my game. So between the last episode and this one, I'm actually on a completely different file. So let me go ahead and break this. If I would have come here on my last file, it would not have been here. Here we get the yellow, or actually in this case, the gold egg. Now that is a stop and swap two item, and the winner is... So for that, well, I guess we get stuff. But if you were to get that on the N64 version, that would have been the ice key. On this game, or on the Xbox version, we got that back in Banjo-Kazooie. The ice key will be important much later on. So we got that. Um, I just want to point out, now that we are back on a different file, because the Jinjos are random, I actually have different Jinjos than I had on my last file. These are the Jinjos I have here, and that is why I have two more Jiggies, because I got the white and the two orange Jinjos, and, but whenever you complete the Jinjo family, you get a Jiggy, so I have two more Jiggies because of that. Anyways, let's go back, because I want to go back to the Spiral Mountain area. Let's do that. Right over here. Hopefully this episode's making sense to you guys. It's kind of all over the place because there's just a lot of different stuff to show. But hopefully you guys are able to follow it. So anyways, we've got two more, uh, two more stop and swap two items to get. I want to go do that in just a minute. But first, let's go up here because we now have over five Cheeto pages. Or maybe exactly five, I can't remember. But in any case, we can go up here and we can actually get a cheat code. Let's go do it. Come here, Mr. Cheeto. Hello? Oh, we have seven. Yeah, so we have more than five. Good enough. Hello again, Banjo. Remember me? I'm Cheeto the Magical Spellbook. Yeah, yeah, we know who you are. Just hand over something useful. 
You're out of luck there, I'm afraid. Gertie ripped out all my pages. So basically, he's saying, go bring me five pages. However, we already have that, so with these five pages, we can get something useful. So he's going to let me in on a little secret. A cheat code, heck yeah. So he's not called Cheeto for nothing. Give us them cheat codes. So we give him the five, and basically, you want to come back here every time you get five more pages. I'm not necessarily going to come back the immediate time after I get five pages. I'll probably wait till it's convenient. But right there, if we enter the code feathers, well, we'll uh, get something good. You can probably guess what we'll get for that. But we have to go back to the Mayhem Temple cheat room again. Oh well, we'll, we'll do that in a bit. Let's go get these stop and swap two items first. So that is our new cheat code, feathers. Hooray! You can come back to him anytime. I'm fairly certain to see all the codes that you have unlocked. But now I want to use this fly pad here. Because there's, oh, if I can get under there. There we go. There's a couple of things I want to get. One is over here on top of the waterfall. You can see there's actually a little hole up there, so let's go check it out. Let's see if I can get in here without dying. We did it! Hooray! Get in there! Come on, Banjo. I knew you could do it, buddy. All right, let's go inside. Gotta go all the way through this area. And there is another Banjo-Kazooie game pack, but we can't get that by just uh, walking up to it. We have to actually flip up to here, go to the grip grab, and behind the waterfall. We should be able to get it. Let's go down here. And this one, uh, basically in the Xbox version, we get gold, silver, and bronze eggs. But in the in the other one, see, this is a silver egg. If you were to get this one in the uh, N64 version, that would give you the blue egg, and that would give you the homing cheat. So if you wanted that homing cheat code I've been using this whole time, you can finally get that from here. So let's get back out. Let's go get that uh, last, last uh, stop and swap two crud. Okay, let's go back to the fly pad, because where I want to go is right over where we were using the wade boots, which I believe was on this side. Yep, right there, that cage on the on the mountain, that's where I want to be. So we just need to basically ram into it. Actually, no, we don't need to ram into it. What we want to do is actually just land up there if I can. So we want to land up here and just use the grenade eggs. That should take this thing down for us. And there we go. There is the third and final Banjo-Kazooie game pack. Once again, I just want to remind you that if you do this on the Xbox version, you can only do this once. Um, I have not tested this personally on the N64 version, but I am told that uh, from a friend who plays this game like crazy, he's a speedrunner, uh, he says you can do it repeatedly on the N64 version, so I, I take his word for that. If any of you guys know for sure, uh, let me know. But anyways, we're going to go right back here because there was Mr. Royston, the fish that uh, we saw at the start of the game that wants us to save him from this boulder. Now that we have the build drill, we can do exactly that. So now you can kind of see why I waited until now to come back here. So we freed the fishy from the boulder, but, you know, fish don't exactly do so well on land, and he can't uh, flop over to the water, I guess. So we're going to have to do that ourselves. Yeah, we're going to be his personal taxi, carrying him all the way over there. So, all right, let's pick him up. Let's take him right over. And doing so will be very, very worthwhile. We'll get some pretty good stuff for this. So, thanks, guys. Perhaps these extra bubbles may be of some use. Yes, we, we get bubbles. Not a jiggy, but we get some bubbles, so we get some uh, extra air so we can breathe underwater longer. However, we also get the ability to swim faster, so more air and faster swimming. So now if we press X and A... Look how fast we can swim! Gosh dang! But that is going to be it for Spiral Mountain for now, guys. Let's go and enter that Feathers cheat code real quick. Alright, so we're entering Feathers, and you might be confused because you have to hit the E twice and it's already red. That's okay, just go for it. So you can hit the same letters twice, even if they're already red. Let's just hit S, and we did it! Nice shooting! Now step across to the cheat sheet on the wall over there and press B to view your new cheat! Hooray! The Feathers cheat will double the maximum of red and gold feathers you can carry. So that is awesome. Very, very handy. Let's go ahead and go over it. Not that I use the feathers too often, but it's still cool to have. So let's turn that on. There we go, guys. 200 red feathers. And how many gold feathers do we have as well? We have uh, 20. So instead of 10, we can get 20. How about that? All right, guys. So before we end this one, and I know the episode's already pretty long, but it's been bogged down with so much information. We unlocked puzzles. We got some different collectibles, new power-ups, all kinds of cheat codes and all that stuff. So it's been a pretty packed episode, but... I think a lot of you probably are itching to see the next stage, so let's go take a little chunk out of that as well. I just want to read these signs, because there's some pretty funny dialogue, but I, I don't understand why is Jam Jars reading it to us. Like, couldn't we just read it ourselves, or... I don't know, of, of all people, why is it Jam Jars reading it? I don't know. But last sign here, let's head inside as well. Which you will, theme parks is currently closed due to an appalling safety record. Oh. 
Yep, they just gotta bribe the authorities and they'll be just fine. Well, let's go inside, guys, and finally start the third world, Witchy World. Now, as soon as we get inside here, I guess I want to grab this warp pad. And there's the no burgers and fries sign that we've seen before. Um, there's gonna be Mrs. Boggy over here, but we can't actually do the jiggy involving her for quite some time. So we'll have to come back another time to do that. Danger! 1,000 jiggy watts! Now, this right here is a random heal. Basically, it's kind of like the skill up, but instead of going in sequential order, the... Uh, you know, I'll show you. I'm probably gonna get hurt doing it, but... Uh, basically, it's gonna randomly bounce all over our health and we have to press X when we want it to stop. So I'm probably gonna get hit a lot doing this. Uh, I, I took one point of damage. Not as good as the skill stop. So, I don't know. There's danger 1000 jiggy watts. Let's just break this right here. Oh, I oh, got it! I thought I missed for a second. Alright, let's go back this way and actually spring up top because there are a couple of jiggies to... Not jiggies, just some uh, notes to get. Now, I don't want to do anything else in this area yet. Or rather, there's nothing we can do. There's a mumbo pad over there. But for now, there's really nothing we can do in this stage, or in that particular part of it. But we do want to kill this guy. So let's go ahead. Oh, that was not me shooting a grenade. Oh my gosh, he homed in on me. How do they know? Does this guy have homing cheat codes? No, oh, he just tries to lead his shots. So there we just got a ticket. Uh, up in this tent here, we actually have a thing we can do, but we have to get four tickets to do that. So we'll come back later. Uh, actually, I want to go this way first. There's two different paths we could take, but I want to go to the left. Cause there's a giant burger over here, look at that crud! Not gonna do anything with the burger right now, let's just get some notes. Now here's the second ticket, basically to get all the tickets you just circle around this area and get all of the little slot machines taken care of. And once again, the, another side area that we cannot do much with, but I at least want to come over and grab this uh, warp pad right here. So that'll be, I guess, good for now. Uh, we could grab some notes. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's grab the notes. Let's also grab that jam jars right there. But once again, there's a mumbo pad we have to come back and get. We could also get a Jinjo up top. And you know what? I'll, I'll go ahead and do that. Because once we activate that mumbo pad, there'll be a little, a little bit of electricity shooting out of that pipe. So it makes it slightly more challenging to get up here. Not that it's a big deal, but I think it's better to do this now than later. But let's go get this ability from jam jars. 180 notes required. We have way more than enough. And this is airborne egg aiming. Pretty straightforward, as you could expect, it allows us to shoot eggs in the air. So, pretty simple. And he also heals us up, which is nice. Kind of took some damage with that skill stop, or the uh, random stop. But we're done with this little space area for now. Once again, we kind of need Mumbo and some other things to really do much here. So let's just move on. Now, we could also go inside this tent right here, but we'll get to that one later. Uh, basically, that fortune will smile upon you thing from before, that actually does happen here, but... Well, like I said, we'll get, we'll deal with that a bit later. So let's go ahead and get our third ticket. Well, I well, okay, my grenade did go that far. I wasn't sure if it would. Let's do that. Let's get another jam jars right here. This one is, of course, the split up pads. So happy to finally get this one because we see these things all over the place. And this is one of the coolest abilities in the game. As Once again, as you'd probably expect, this ability allows us to split up. So we can split up from Banjo and Kazooie. I'm not going to use that right now because it's not really necessary, but it's pretty cool. Now let's actually slowly tiptoe up this little thing here. And then we can jump up. Because up here is going to be a Jinjo, the yellow one. Heck yeah, let's grab him. We have two out of three. If we get one more yellow, we got that. Uh, right here we have some plunger shoes. Can't really do much with that. So let's just keep circling around, avoiding the side areas for the most part. We're not going to completely avoid all the side areas. Once we kill this guy off, we'll get the last ticket. And we'll go use those probably near the end of the stage. But this is one side area I actually do want to do. If we go right up here, we can get a Jiggy pretty easy. All we have to do is hit the switch uh, using three different moves. So that was one move. There's another move. And the third move we have to use is the Grenade Egg. Because those are used for a lot in this stage for some reason. So there's our three moves. Let's go get that Jiggy from the Cactus of Strength. I'm really not sure if it's faster to climb or to jump up the, up the thing there. I think climbing itself is faster. Let's go back down. Ow. And let's go across here. Let's get some notes behind this door. There's also a Jinjo up there to save, so let's do that. Just gotta get up on top of this crud. Let's see if I can jump. Oh my gosh! I was trying to save time by jumping over instead of using just the grip grab. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I got that second try at least. Now this one is actually a brown Jinjo. They look pretty similar to the orange one, especially in the menu, but we only have two out of four for those guys. So we need two more for that. We can also go over here, get some notes. And I guess we're gonna go up here. Because there's all there is one more thing I want to get up here. There's gonna be another warp pad. Oh, let's go that guy. 
Now, there's also a little center area right there, which is the crazy castle, but that one's going to be pretty time-consuming, so we're not going to do that one today. Let's just go up here and get the warp pad, and I think we're going to call things, guys. We do have Humbo's little wigwam right here, but we'll get to that later. So, with that, guys, we're going to call it a day. We got so much done today. Hopefully, you guys actually managed to stuck it out, stick it out through all this. And we'll come back next time, do that crazy castle. See you guys then. Take care.